Hi, this screencast is to talk about posts on a school homepage or district website. First, I want to share that posts are what are included here in the featured news and event portion of each school homepage as well as the district website. These are referred to as posts. Users do not need access to a homepage in order to update the information that is listed here in featured news and events. So let me show you how that's done. Once you log into the Final Sites Composer, posts are listed under what we call modules. So on the left side, you have your Composer Feather, and then you also have our modules icon with the squares. From the modules icon, you can access posts. Some of these selections may look a little bit different per user. Once you click posts, each post has what we call a board. You will have access to your school's post or board folder, and you can see that there is a folder or board for each school. In this case, I am going to access my test post and my district post board here. You can see that each of these posts that are listed here are highlighted underneath our featured news and events. A side note and a cool little fact. Our district homepage, these posts include all of our district posts along with they are connected to each of our school posts. And that goes the other way. Each school's post or features news and event, they will only house that particular school's news and events, but they are also connected to the district posts. So anything that is posted here at the district level will automatically feed to schools, and schools that post on their homepage will automatically feed to the district website. So if you feel the need to highlight an event or any news going on at your school, feel free to use this procedure in order to do so. So from the folder, from your school's folder, you'll begin by selecting Create a Post in the top right corner. You can first select a title. So I am going to go ahead and just copy and paste the title of this particular article, which I had thought that I grabbed here. So I'm going to copy and then paste the article here. I'm actually going to include the article uh, title in the body content. And then I might say access full article here. Let me share that this body context, it can include text, you can include links, you can include images. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm going to jump back to my article where we want to share or give information about students reading within Granville County Public Schools. I entered my text and I'm going to include a link where it says here. I double clicked and I will select the link icon from the menu options in the top. Here I will select add a link. You have a few options. You can add a link to a URL, which is what I have, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And I always like to be sure that open in a new window is selected. This featured news and events or this post also allows for you to link to a site page. So any page that you have access to within your school, it will also allow you to link to a file. So if you have a document or a registration form, you can do so here. And there are particular media items that you can link to as well. And the media options are things like videos and certain images. So here I'm only going to paste the link and select OK. From here, I want to add an image that goes along with this body or this context. In order to do so, I'm going to select the image icon up here in the body text. Here, there are particular folders for these resources. You have access to your school's post or your school's resources. So here you can see schools. You'll have access to upload files into folders that are listed for your school. Here, I am going to go ahead and select, let's see, where is our, for right now, I'm going to use my test school. Okay, so I'm going to use my test images. You can see there's some items here. I'm going to choose this upload public resource. From here, I can browse or I can simply drag and drop for my students reading. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. 
I am going to head to my desktop here, a student reading. I selected it, selected open. It may take a minute for it to upload. It will ask for a title. I generally use the same title as the name. And then at the bottom, you can select save. Now you have your image here of the student reading. So now let's focus on the, the items to the right. What you need to do and what you are required to do is select a start date that you want for this news piece or event to be shared. So for today, I want for this piece to start today at 1025. It automatically defaults to the date and time in which you are sharing the post. You can select this date to be a future date and future time as well. Featured. You do not have to select a featured date. What featured means is that it will appear in this larger block to the left on your school page. So in this case, I am going to feature this particular item until, let's say, the 18th. I also, you also will be required, you won't, you are not required to set an expiration date, but it is best practice to do so, just so that the news can be updated frequently. So in this case, I'm going to select that this will run for an entire month. The other item that I'm going to highlight that on is this thumbnail resource. A thumbnail resource is a little thumbnail image that users will have access to on that post block. So let me demonstrate how to access a thumbnail. You will go to Browse, and you will be able to see any of your images that you've already uploaded are listed here. I can use the student reading once again, or let me say I wanna grab another one. So I'm gonna to go to Public Resource, select Browse, and then I'm going to grab another image from that article of students reading. Once it is updated, again, I will select a new title or copy and paste the same title and at the bottom choose save. So now we have a thumbnail or a resource. At the very bottom of this page, you will have the option. You'll see that it's yellow because this is a new post and it will be a different color if you make edits to the post. And then on the right, you have the ability to save. We also have the ability to preview this once we uh, select save. So I'm going to go ahead and save this post and it looks like it refreshes and it's here. Now on this page, I wanna show a few of these icons. You can see that the icon on the bottom right turned from yellow to green. That means that it is featured and it is published. Here is your ability to preview it. Over here, if you're done with this post and you no longer want it, you can delete it. And this arrow on the bottom lets you copy this post to another folder. So this is a good example that you can have many post folders underneath a board. You can create one for clubs. We can access and add these types of post elements, what we'll call, to other types of pages. So. An example of this is our news and events listed here in the top link. These posts or an element post was added to this page to feature district news. So here you go. We can already see our Wake Electric item that's listed here, but there's also a, a spot for featured school news. So you can have various folders that you can copy or move this particular post into. So you can archive them, um, but this is a good resource to have that maybe you have a reading folder that you only wanna highlight reading at your school and might uh, come in handy when it comes to clubs and athletics. So now that we have this post, I can select up here. I can go back to the boards. Let's say I want to access my dashboard. Okay, here's my post underneath my dashboard. I can see that it's featured. I can see here certain items that have expired. So let's say I wanted to thank the board members here again. I can access this and update that date and it will automatically appear under, it will automatically appear underneath our um, featured news again. You can see here, there's one from Tar River that it is expired. I can access this or the user from Tar River can and update that date. If I wanna edit one, I can go to boards, go back to my test posts, as well as my folder that I use for LRP districts, and I can simply click on 
the blue portion and update any of the items. Once you update items, the little green page will turn to another color and you will be required to update or save that uh, post again. So I hope that this was helpful when talking about posts. And again, this is different. This is not on the composer or pages module. This is within the, mo uh, this is with, this is not under the, comp page, the composer and pages. This is within the module icon where posts and page pops are located. If you have any questions, please never hesitate to reach out.